Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are doing well. So if you are new to my channel, my name is Arnabi Mitra. I am working in a fan company as a SD. So this video is the continuation of my binary search series where in my previous video I have explained what is a binary search, what are the scenarios where we can apply binary search. Now those were somewhat easy questions or to the point questions I were explaining. Now from this video I will be explaining the actual applications of binary search. Whatever I have explained in every video of mine that binary search is not a single thing that the array will be sorted and you can go and find the uh, element it's not the one application of binary search is as a huge uh, application so i have picked one such question which is an applications of binary search and i will show you so the question is find the minimum time to complete the trip you can find the question link in the description let me show you here it's a lead, uh, lead code question number 2187 so it's saying that we will be given a time array and total number of trips that we need to complete and we need to give the minimum time re may be required uh, by the uh, buses so the time array will have the list of bus and each and every bus takes how much time to complete one trip now those are independent like bus 1 do not depend on the bus 2 to complete or something like that so all the bus timings are independent and we will be given a total trip time and we need to figure out what will be the minimum time required so in the example one it has clearly mentioned there is three bus first one taking one unit of time second one is taking two unit of time third one is taking three unit of time and the total trips that are required is five so to complete these five trips what can be the minimum time now if you uh, just randomly think if only bus one is covering then one cross five it will be five if the bus two is covering all it will be two cross five ten if the bus three is covering then three cross five it will be 15 so there are various numbers maybe first one bus 1 covering some, bus 2 covering some, like this can happen. So, we need to find the minimum time. So, in the explanation, they have mentioned the uh, answer as 3 and y. So, maybe uh, the, we can take the first bus. They can cover for the first time, it will be covered one trip. Now, in the second unit of time the bus one can complete another trip and bus two can complete one trip so we have total three tip, trips now for the third unit of time we can have the first bus completing its third trip second bus is uh, one because to complete another it need more time but the third bus can complete one more so it's 3 plus 1 plus 5 and we are done with our requirement and we can say within 3 unit of time we are getting total uh, 5 trips covered. So this is the minimum time we have more we may have more time but the minimum th uh, time is 3. So similarly we can go for the next one it's saying the time is only 1 there is 1 bus that is taking 2 and total trip is 1. So the output is 2. So now it may seem like how binary search may be applicable we no one mentioned that buses timing are sorted order or we don't need to find anything how binary search can be relevant for this so this may be one question arising to you so this is are the very uh, typical kind of questions where we apply binary search on answer so this is the term binary search on answer so I will quickly explain how actually binary search will be relevant. So let me take a pen. This is colored. Okay, so how binary search is applicable. So we know for binary search, we always need a search space. And we need to find one element. Now here nothing is there. Neither search space is mentioned. Neither we know what element we need to find. 
so this may look a little confused so that is the reason i will be explaining how binary search is relevant so yeah in uh, in answer it is not clear but we can uh, have our search space here like at least we can uh, do some uh, overthinking to find what is the search space now if we think that we are given a time array and uh, with this time array we are having uh, this some values for example time array will have some values for all the buses to complete let's say one two three like this so i'm just taking this small example so what can be our possible answer or search space so obviously they uh, are to complete the trip so i'm just assuming uh, there are trips so there should be at least one trips so i will quickly go and uh, check the constants because it is very much important that we are checking the constants when we are looking for the search space so we are mentioned that total trips should be uh, at least one the time of length should be at least one because there should be at least one bus and even the value time of i also should start from 1 to 10 to the power 7 so from here we can say that the minimum value is at least one not for trips but the uh, the time to complete so as the um, like best case there is one trip and that uh, one trip to complete and we have the values like one two three we may not have the values from one two three but let's see because we have we know the minimum uh, value the time time of i should always start from one to ten to the power seven so minimum can be one now next thing is what can be the maximum now maximum can be the max cross the total number of trips for example we need five trips and we have a bus completing three number of uh, um, three unit time it's taking so five cross three can be maximum so one thing is clear that from one to fifteen there will be one answer it cannot go less than one cannot go more than 15. now a slight optimization can happen so we always need the minimum so when we have the minimum value of the bus then why would we go for the maximum uh, value of the bus why would we go for three when we have one if if that is the case that one bus is only completing all the trips then we why would we go for three we will go for one one can complete all the trips and we can have one cross five so this is a, a another optimization and we can say our search space can be one to five why one because uh, time of i will always start from one it may not be always the case they they can give us an array like this which is starting from two four uh, six so we can see that minimum time is uh, two but it's better we are taking one because at least we know that it will start from uh, one and the maximum we can take the minimum value of the array cross total number of trips because at the worst case the bus which is taking the minimum time will uh, do all the uh, tra transaction for example we have something like this one is two one is 60 and we have uh, five trips to complete obviously we will go for this and we will complete five cross two ten minutes so this i guess clear and we now got our search space so our search space is uh, one two five now i have reduced it very 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 well and our answer is very much confirmed that we will get from here now can we say that our element will be inside one to five and one to five is obviously sorted because it's a range and we need to find one element so in the binary search what we do in binary search we check if the we go take a mid and we check if this element is equal to element or not like this but 
uh, here also we will do the same way we will find the mid for example 1 plus 5 by 2 is 6 uh, by 2 is 3 we will get our mid and what we need to check we here we won't check if 3 is present but here we will check if within within this three uh, within this time within uh, three we are able to complete uh, all uh, trips and how we can find we can check there is time array called one two three so three by one is three that means the first bus can complete three trips the second bus three by two will give one in int so second bus will complete 1 and 3 by 3 is 1. Third bus also will complete 1 and their summation is 3 plus 4 plus 5 is 5. 3 plus 1, 5. So 5 is our required. So there can be now 3 cases. So our mid, if we are checking with mid, it will return some value. For example, it's returning a value. Now this value can be greater than trips, value can be equal to trips, now value can be less than trips. Now let's see instead of 3 we have 4 and we can have like this 4 by 2 plus 4 by uh, 3. So it will give us 4 plus 2 plus 1, 7. It is now giving us 7, okay. Now it will go here. So if we are getting a uh, value which is greater than the trip, that means obviously this will satisfy. Yeah, this always can be our answer. 4 always can be our answer. But as it is greater than the trips, uh, with 4 unit time, we can complete greater uh, trips. So that means uh, that is one possible answer. But if we decrease 4, by 1 and we reduce our search space there can be a possibility that with less time we are able to do the uh, complete the trips so that is why we can do for 1 to 3 and uh, then we can do uh, our binary search again and we can find yeah so we, we will be able to complete the trips now Similarly, if value is equal to trips, then also we can say, yeah, this is the answer. But there can be possibility that even a less value can uh, use. For example, suppose there were 1, uh, 1, 1. Let's see 1, 1, 2. Okay, and we have a total uh, trip, uh, say 5. So... And we can say, let's see, our search space is 1 to 5. And we have, we will get mid is 3. Now, within 3 unit of time, we can complete 3, uh, 3, 1, 7. So, we can complete 7. 7 trips, but we need 5. So, why not decrease it? We will make our search space 1 to 2. Now, there mid value is 1. So, with 1 unit of time, we can complete only 2 then it is not uh, possible. Let's have 2. With 2, we can have 2 plus 2 plus 1, 5. This is our answer. But whenever we are getting actual answer, there can be a possibility we can go for the lesser value. But if we are getting a value less than trips, then there is no possibilities. Then we cannot say that this is our answer. So I guess this part is clear like how we are applying binary search, why we are applying binary search. So whenever in the question someone is asking for minimum or maybe the maximum and uh, there are possibilities where we can get the search space. We can know that okay our answer will lie from here to here and what will be our answer we need to do a check with the mid value and if this condition satisfies we can say this is one of our probable answer then we can go for this binary search and with very easy way we can solve it. So what will be the time complexity? Obviously, uh, this is, uh, we are like, uh, we have the search space and we are doing a thorough check on the uh, time um, uh, matrix to check how many trips can be possible. So n cross log of d. What is d? d is our search space. Now it will vary. So at uh, we can say the d is from 1 to minimum of the time array 
cross total number of trip uh, total number of trips so we can say this and this is like our uh, uh, time complexity so i will now quickly move to the code part i will show the c++ and java code and i will explain why i did it and how i did it okay then let's go so here is the solution i will be giving the solution link you can also find in the uh, discussion section of this question in the lead code i have explained the time complexity space complexity and given java and c++ solution so i will quickly explain you the code so what i have taken i have taken a low value and a high value uh, high is uh, for now i have taken a very large value and then i have calculated the minimum uh, of those array and my high is now total number of trips uh, in cross the minimum uh, uh, value and then i have just run the binary search i have checked the mid mid is checking for the value how it's checking for the value is nothing but the uh, value by x x is the time of i like ith element because uh, like if we have uh, uh, time 3 minutes and one bus is taking 2 minutes that means in 3 minutes they can complete only one trip so like this trips are keep on getting added and uh, whenever we are getting a greater than an equal value we are taking it's an answer obviously there it is an possible answer i have made the answer as high because we need the minimum value and then uh, we will store the answer and we will reduce the search space why because from one now we have already one answer now then why not check for one to mid minus one and see if there is any possible answer if there is any possible answer obviously that will be the minimum and that will be our answer otherwise we will make the low equals mid plus uh, one so this is the pretty much uh, binary search thing well, how we can like have our search space and uh, uh, have the mid minus one mid plus one and uh, uh, play with our search space so the c++ and java code are almost same all the logics are same so you can go and check the code and you can do and run and make sure you are giving me feedback and also if you have any question you have any doubt make sure you are co commenting and if you want to connect with me my linkedin id my top med id my telegram link all are given in the description you can go and check make sure you are giving me feedback and if you want uh, me to take your mock interview any one-to-one -one doubt clearance uh, anything you can connect with me top met i'm available there so thank you bye